Welcome to Max 2D. Used by millions of wonderful creators just like you to create amazing games. Max 2D is a mobile platform that allows users to play, learn, and build amazing games. Whether you're new to game development or an experienced creator, Max 2D has something to offer for everyone. We'll begin by looking at the main sections in Max 2D. As soon as you open Max 2D, you are greeted with this very exciting home screen where you can quickly navigate to the main sections or play amazing games created by other creators just like you. You can play any game by tapping the game you like and clicking the play button. Here you can see the game is loading. Once the game is finished loading, you are ready to play. This game, developed by Charles, we can play by moving forward, jump, shoot enemies and finally jump again. Yes, cleared level 1. Let's return to the tutorial now. By tapping the back button, you can always return home. So you want to make your first game. Great. To get started, simply tap on the project icon. This is where your ideas come to life. You'll see a sample Max 2D project on the screen. If you want to create a new project, tap the yellow new button and type in a name for your project. Then tap create, grant the file permission and your new Max 2D project is created for this tutorial. We'll start by using a provided sample project to demonstrate all the main features. Welcome to the editor in Max 2D. This is where you can bring your game ideas to life. Don't worry if you feel overwhelmed at first with all the things in Max 2D. I promise it's very simple. In this video, we'll show you around the key features of the Max 2D editor so you can start creating your own games with ease. Don't worry if you're new to game development. Max 2D is simple and user-friendly, so just follow along and you'll be making your own games in no time. Let's dive in. To play your project and test it out, simply tap the play button. You can play the game and see how it works. Here we can tap again and again to move the bird forward. If you want to go back to the editor at any time, just tap the floating end button. This allows you to easily test and make changes to your game as you go. Have fun playing and testing the game. If you want to see your game in all its glory and get a detailed view of how it's working, just tap the debug button next to the play button. It looks like a bug. In this view, you can see your game with all its hidden objects and also view key metrics like the frame rate and sensor data. This is a great way to fine tune your game and make sure it's running smoothly. Give it a try and see what you can discover. Now let's head back by taping the end button. On the left side of the interface, you'll find the sub tools for managing screen objects. The first tool is the hand tool, which allows you to move around the game screen. To use the hand tool, simply tap on it to activate it. Then, you can tap and drag on the screen to move around and explore the game screen. Below the hand tool is the position tool, which lets you position objects in your scene. To use the position tool, simply tap on the object you want to move and use your finger to adjust its position. Next to the position tool is the scale button, which allows you to increase the size of an object. To use the scale button, tap on the red arrow and slide your finger to increase the width, or tap on the green arrow to increase the height. If you make a mistake or want to undo your changes, you can tap the undo button to revert to the previous state. In addition to these tools, you'll also find the rotate, copy, and delete buttons, which allow you to rotate, duplicate, or remove objects from your scene. These tools make it easy to customize your game and create the scenes you want. On the right side of the interface, you'll find two helpful buttons, the layers panel and the scope button. If you want to hide the layers panel or the scope button, simply tap on the button to collapse it. The layers panel shows all the layers in your game, such as the bird pipes and background. This allows you to easily manage and organize the different elements in your scene. The scope button, located below the layers panel, provides additional settings for each layer. With this convenient layout, you can quickly access the tools you need and start creating your game. Give it a try and see how easy it is to use. Below the game screen, there is a section called the script section. 
This is where we can specify the actions and behaviors that we want a particular object to perform. The script section may seem intimidating at first, but with some practice, you will become more comfortable using it. Let's use the example of changing the scoreboard color from yellow to pink to understand the script section. To do this, let's tap on the score. To load script properties, we can adjust the position of the script section by dragging it from the top to where you want it to be, or taping the script button on the top. For now in the properties of the scoreboard, you can change the text color to pink by tapping on the text color and selecting the desired color let's choose pink now. We can always test changes by playing the game. And here we can see the text color has changed to pink. There are many other settings and options you can explore in the script section, so feel free to experiment and try them out. You can also find a ton of tutorials in the learn section if you want to learn more. At the top of the interface, you'll find all the main tools, such as the home button, scene creator button, and add objects button. The home button allows you to go back to the home screen. The scene creator button allows you to create different scenes for your game, such as a level one scene or a game over scene. The Add Objects button allows you to add various assets to your game, such as sprites for adding images, sound for adding audio, or text. Simply choose the desired asset type from the options provided. These are the essential tools you need to be familiar with in order to begin using Max 2D Editor. Now that you know how to navigate the Max 2D Editor, it's time to head back to the home screen and visit the Learn section. In this section, you'll find a variety of tutorials that will help you become a Pro Max 2D user in no time. So be sure to check out the tutorials and start learning more, or simply head back home and have fun playing all the amazing games. Go check it out. We can't wait to see all your amazing creations.